Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, 7 a.m., so it's about 15 minutes after shooting light. And uh, just got camera light. I had a, a really young deer walk right under me about 10 minutes ago. I was lining up for a shot, but it didn't work out. I didn't have camera light and just wouldn't have been a good, good decision. And after yesterday's miss, I want to make sure that I give myself a good shot opportunity and make a good choice. Since then, though, I caught movement out on this point across the opening from me, and there's two bucks in there. Um, I think one looks like, like a half rack. Definitely older deer, and then the other is a... Looks like a young two-and-a-half-year-old. A nice rack on him, though. They were bristling up to each other. The one half rack definitely looked like the dominant buck. Still not, not enough camera light to zoom in that far, but I think they moved off towards the edge of the field. But I mean, it's not even sunrise yet. I've seen three deer, so I love this spot. I'm sitting in this stand, I've killed out of this tree before. And then missed one also, but uh, this summer I went and hung a permanent set in this tree. It's my first time sitting it. So I hope the does are moving. I can't even think about shooting at a buck till I get two does out here, so. It's October 9th. We're on the tail end of this cold front. It was 44 degrees when I got out of the truck. It's awesome weather for October 9th and really excited to be in the woods. So I'm gonna sit tight, be quiet, and See if there's any does moving through here. Let's do this, guys.
sucks. I think that was a deer I spotted up on the field edge behind me a few minutes back and she ended up walking right at me and of course like directly downwind. She got within 30 yards. I think she was at 28 standing there behind me. She got spooky and she almost gave me a shot. I needed her to take like two more steps. But there is a branch here sticking out off this tree and where she was there it would have been a forced shot, so. Of course she ended up blowing too. But it's still early. It's uh not even quarter to eight yet, so. Hopefully there's more deer coming through here. I think that puts me at four or five for the day. I can see one feeding out in the field about 200 yards away, so. It's still cold. Let's see what else is moving through. was gonna work out here. Ah, oh, that was awesome. I didn't see that doe until she was probably at like 45, 50 yards. And once again, headed right at me. I was nervous about her walking through this opening, quartering to me like that. I could have drawn, maybe taken that shot, but that wasn't a good shot opportunity. And as I've said over and over since I missed yesterday, I really want to take a good shot opportunity. And I mean, she was at, I don't know, 10 yards maybe. Walked right through. I think she caught my ground scent. And that's why she turned. That last turn she did. And she, I don't know how far she was. It must have been like 12, 15 yards. 12 yards. Put it right in the pump house. She was hurting. For some reason, I can't see my arrow in the ground or anything. Could be buried under the grass. But anyways, that was that was awesome. Great, great way to bounce back from that miss yesterday. And she had a fawn with her. 
that ran out to 40 and then kind of worked back into the thicker stuff. If that deer comes through, I'm going to shoot her too. Never doubled in one day. It's uh, 8.07, so there's plenty of time left to hunt. That doe I shot went straight out towards the field. She made it into the field edge, but I doubt she went much further than that. She was already stumbling by the time she made it out there. Of course, that doe that uh, winded me before was, I don't know, 50, 60 yards behind me when I shot, and she started blowing. Awesome morning so far. I'm gonna sit tight for maybe an hour or two more and see if another deer comes through. Hell yes, let's go.
just got off the phone with my dad. I've been talking about how I've been hunting this. He's on vacation right now, but just gave him an update on the weekend and two deer down. <laughs> What an incredible morning. I cannot express how fun this has been being out here during this October cold front. It's 40 degrees right now. And the wind finally laid down. It's been super windy the past two days and still got me out in the woods, but it was tough uh, enduring those elements. And this morning's just been perfect from head to toe. Uh, the weather's been amazing. The deer movement's been great. Sure, I had one blow at me early, but with how many deer are out here, it's never a real big issue. They're always cruising through this part of the woods. And that second deer, she was four steps away from where I shot the first one. Absolutely drilled her double long. And she ran across the opening back the way she came and dropped. She's probably 60 yards away. I can see that arrow. I don't know where my first arrow is, but I'm gonna start climbing out of the tree track these deer, get them off to the field edge, and I'll see you guys there. This is where the first and second shot. Second shot was right there. First shot right here. I'm try to find that arrow. And then I'll, uh, I'll just track them in order. Gonna have to dig around a little for this arrow and then I'll track the first deer because I'm not sure where she went. Second deer fell down just on the other side of this opening, so. Yep, gonna get started on the track. First. Well, there's the field edge. Looked up, there she is right here. I don't know how far she made, probably 50, 60 yards. Piled up right here. Awesome. First deer of the season. Alrighty, got that first one up in the shade. I'm here at my uh, second arrow. Recover this one and do the track. See you guys then. Got them uh, piled up here in the shade. It's starting to warm up a good bit. It's supposed to get into the mid 60s today. But what an incredible morning. Uh, when I got out of the truck, the temp reader said 41 degrees and it just felt like a November morning. For it to be October 9th, I wouldn't be caught dead not in the tree stand this morning. So I got out to this spot that I've hunted quite a bit over the past few years to an old trusty stand trying to recover from that missed shot yesterday. And this spot definitely came through. I don't know how many deer I ended up seeing, over 10. And uh, it just seemed like they kept piling in. I'm watching more walk away now. It's just an incredible spot. It's right in this opening, field edge, great morning spot because they're coming from that field back into this bedding cover. Saw this two bucks early, had one walk right underneath me, underneath, underneath me right at shooting light and can't ask for a better morning. My first double ever. Uh, definitely shot a few deer in my lifetime, but never doubled in one morning. And to have these two big old nanny does come through, give me a shot opportunity almost two steps away from each other. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm really blessed, really happy, but there's a lot of work to be done. I'm pretty far from the truck. And uh, like I said, it's warming up. So I'm gonna get these girls gutted out get them drug up to the truck and I'll see you guys from the woods next time. Thanks for watching.